Good afternoon from the 7 Newsroom, I'm Jacqueline Felgate. We have not gotten into the worst part of this storm yet. That is to come a little bit later on tonight. So uh, obviously uh, here at the College of Charleston, they're uh, already having a good time. I compare winter to be the Justin Bieber of seasons. It was kind of cute and exciting when it first started out, and now it's a bit obnoxious and should probably just stay in Canada. Not really more accumulating snow, but just a biting, granular, kind of slutty, excuse me, slushy, icy snow. We're going to have people that are going to be dying over the next couple of days. We were going to be losing our uh, heat in many of our homes. People will be making poor choices. Reporter Kristen Thorne is in Smithtown in Suffolk County tonight. She can... You see a gentleman there with gas, uh, he's trying to, uh, what are you doing there, sir, trying to keep your heater going? I'm sorry, whoop. Is that Deidre? Oh, oh okay, so we're going to take this Deidre. away. Yeah. And I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running, very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. So go ahead and keep on the run. I'm sorry to have kept you, but I appreciate you guys talking thanks. with us. Stay warm. All right, thanks. So we've seen a lot of people out here, like he said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops, that can happen. The barn was only used for two weeks of the year for breeding, so it wasn't insured. As we said, it is Valentine's Day, one of the busiest days for restaurants as well. And if you're making last-minute dinner plans, you may have a hard time getting in some of the titties in some, in some of the city's top spots. We checked around at some local restaurants. The unarmed boy got out of his car and said, this, S-H-I-T, is going down now. If you just say things naturally, it's fine. Yeah. Right? You know, they just think and fuck. Oh yeah. dear. Oh okay. dear. Okay. okay. We've it. We've yes, we've it. it. Good, good. <laughs> All right. The three victims were part of a CXS Fuck it right in the pussy. I am a Broncos fan, so I'm hoping Manning throws a few touchdown passes, but the Seahawks, they have a chance too. 20% chance for a scattered shower. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, guys, not quite as many people along the sidewalk here, but as many cars as we see all night. Take a look over here. Serious technical difficulties with our audio system, and for some reason, this is the only audio that works right now, but we want everyone to know that we are frantically working on this situation. For some reason, we are experiencing some serious technical difficulties with our audio system and we hope you'll bear with us as we iron out this situation but that's the thing with this morning show you never know what to expect but while I'm on the air here let me tell you the latest on this situation on the mag mile we have some seriously high wind gusts in the Chicago area today through three o'clock this afternoon this this tops it all. This tops <laughs> the fake plane crash. This tops everything. I, I tell you what, you working for Marvel, the Super Bowl commercial, did you get a lot of reaction to that Super Bowl commercial? What Super Bowl commercial? Oh, you know what? I've been, my mistake. I, you know see, what? What? see you're, you're as crazy as the people on Twitter. Right. I'm not Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> That's my fault. Oh, I know boy. that. That was my fault. Uh, my mistake. You know what? We don't all look alike. Father, oh, you're exactly right. We all black and famous. You but are we all guilty. Don't look alike. I am. I. I am guilty. Um, I am busted. I am guilty. He thought guilty. you were Bob Dylan. Right. <laughs> you're the entertainment reporter. I know. I'm you're the mind. entertainment reporter right. for this station. Vlog. And you don't know the difference between I know. me and Lawrence Fishburne. My, my mistake. Uh, my mistake. I apologize. Uh, really. Oh. My, I apologize. My, I'm look, the other guy. But, I'm the other guy. The other one. What's right. in your wallet? Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, 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 exactly right. Oh, oh, oh. That's There's exactly more than right. one black guy doing a commercial. commercial. Oh. There it is. No question about that. Uh, I'm the two... what's in your wallet black guy. Okay. Oh. He's the car black guy. There it is. Morgan Freeman is the other credit card <laughs> black guy. <laughs> you only hear his voice though, so there. you probably won't confuse him with yeah. Lawrence oh. Fishburne. You're exact. You're out. You're 100 percent right. Uh, to RoboCop, are you a fan? There's a heavyweight black guy that's like putting cash down in the seats in a, in a baseball stadium. But he's also the black guy that turns off the house, the water, and the lights 
when his kid tells him the house is cool. Right. I'm not that guy either. <laughs> do we want to do a list of all the people that you're not? And I've actually never done a McDonald's or a Kentucky Fried Chicken commercial. I know that's surprising. Right. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, man. Uh, to the original... And I'm the uh, only black guy in RoboCop that's not a criminal. Okay. Other than Michael K. White. <laughs> Tell you what, it's obviously a great cast, and this director does have some extraordinary credits. As, as, you as do you... know who they all are, though, right? Yes, I do. I mean, just in case they have some of them on the show... <laughs> Do some I work. I won't make the do same. Do some research. Make you know sure what? you don't confuse them with those other white actors. Around <laughs> there, like Brad Pitt. This is a well-deserved spanking. Thank you for it. Before uh, we let you go, since we have you here, we haven't had a chance to kind of talk about some I'm of the. I'm not speaking about anything that's off topic. This is only about the president. Well, what about? So thank you. All right, so Congressman Michael Grimm does not want to talk about uh, some of the, the allegations uh, concerning his campaign finances. We wanted to get him on camera on that, but he, uh, as you saw, refused to talk about that. Back to you. Why? Let me be clear to you. You have to do that to me again. I'm telling you. What? I just wanted to ask you. National Bagel Day today, and it's Bruger Bagel's 31st birthday. So the company will give you three free bagels. You have to go in before 11 a.m., though, and take a coupon with you. Kristen is on her way right now. <laughs> you can find a link to it on Newsnet5.com. In our, oh, man, I still got off air. What is going Na, em um dos alimentadores, onde causou um curto-circuito em um. Esse equipamento causou um curto-circuito em um transformador e o próprio sistema daí desligou esses circuitos para que a falha não, não se estendesse ainda mais. Ainda há risco de ter mais algum apagão aqui em Pouso Alegre, na nossa região? Não, o nosso produto ele é exposto, então ele está sujeito a. a, a... O panel disse que ele agradeceu a apologia, mas disse que alguns dos financeiros custos poderiam ser evitados. Caroline, thank you. Here in Providence, Julie Tremel, NBC 10 News, the night team.